Hi folks, this is Steve Guzzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements 2021 looking at some of the new features in the program. Now one feature you may well notice because it sort of intrudes itself on the Applied Effects panel anytime you apply an effect is something called the Effect on Selection tool. And this tool allows us to take an effect and apply it only to one area of our video frame. Now the effects mask essentially does the same thing, except that this new effect on selection tool allows us to designate an area in any shape we want, lock onto a person or an object with this effect, and then follow that person through the video frame as they move around. So it's kind of a combination of the motion tracking tool and the effects mask, and let's see it go to work. So we've got a video here of two women walking down the street. And after I've shot and edited my movie, let's say the woman in the teal sweatshirt decides she didn't want to be on my movie. She didn't want to sign my release, so I have to obscure her face or hide her face under some sort of effect. To do that, I'm just going to move the playhead back to the beginning of the timeline. And then I'm going to the effects panel here on the right. And I'm going to select from the stylize category, the mosaic effect. That's a nice way to blur a face, right? So I'm going to drag that down onto my clip. And then I'm going to set the mosaic to about 50 by 50, 50 by 50 blocks. So there we go. Now we've got an obscured video. Now down in the lower left of the Applied Effects panel, and you'll see this almost any time you apply an effect, you'll see a new addition here in version 2021. And that is the option to select an object to apply the effect to. If we click on the arrow here, the down arrow to the right of the word draw, we have the option of selecting our object using the freehand pen tool, the circle, or the rectangle. To keep it simple, we'll use circle. And then all I need to do is define the object I want to track with this circle. And I'm going to do it just by grabbing on these little corner handles on the outside. And I'm actually going to position it inside this woman's face. So I want to make sure that the program is very clear what it is I'm selecting. I'm selecting her face. Now to make the blur or the mosaic go outside of my selection, I'll just go over here to the Applied Effects panel, toggle open the selection options, and then expand my blur just a little bit or expand my mosaic. Rather than moving the slider, which makes pretty profound changes, I'm just going to drag over the number 00, zero here, just scrub it and expand my blur just a bit more. There we go, so now we have covered her face completely. But like I say, the magic of this tool isn't just applying an effects mask to your video, but it's actually tracking with an object or a person moving around your video frame. So I'm going to click on the track button here, and the program's going to analyze the video clip, and it's going to follow the woman throughout the video frame. Obviously, the more distinct the selected object or person is from the background, the better this will work. Also, it works best if the person doesn't go through shadows or something that kind of changes the look of the face. Look at this. Very, very nice. Still is on her face at the end of the clip. So let's scrub through here. I'm just going to drag the playhead and let's see how well the blur stayed on top of the woman's face. There we go. Stays, stays. She's moving around, but the blur stays on her face. Very nice and it follows her the whole way through the video clip. Now, if for some reason about halfway through here, say this would have slipped off her face, or would have lost track of the person, you can always drag it back onto her face at the very point where it slipped off, and then retrack it by clicking on the button here on the Applied Effects panel. And it will track only from that point on, and so you can make little corrections to the motion track. But it's done a great job here, of locking on. I'm going to click off the video track so that we lose that uh, the little guide circle. And now we can actually see how the mosaic looks when we play the clip. Terrific. The program, the tool did a great job of following that person, that selected object throughout the entire video clip. Now, if you want to know more about this tool and how it works, step by step. And if you want to know about all the new features, as well as the old features in Premiere Elements, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. That is available at amazon.com. And if you have any questions about any of the effects or tools in Premiere Elements, be sure to drop by our community forum at moviepix.com. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you again real soon.